yellows. Total yellow. Yellow likes that. Any yellows out here? Any yellows? Woo! All right. Um, she's a 12 star diamond coach, uh, Success Club All Star legend, mom of two, former nurse. And so she's going to talk about how she is using Pinterest and um, Instagram to build her business. Come on up. If you can yellow. Okay. All right, there. And yellows tend to go over, so there's your clock. <laughs> can I say something? Is this on? Can you guys hear me? Yep. Okay. Oh, there it is. So, can I first start by saying Shannon and I are very much alike? Like, we get really nervous with public speaking no matter how long we've been a coach. And I have a couple of friends that are really cool up here, but they really, oh my gosh, okay. Shannon took my papers away. I had my papers planned. I rewrote it twice. And Sarah, my coach, my own coach, has helped me to overcome it. And then Kaylee just ripped up my papers. So this is the first time I am doing this and not using my own joke. So go ahead, continue. <laughs> Squirrel. Well, so the good part is, is this is something you apply in your business every day so you know exactly what you're talking about. So, you know, so the first thing we're going to talk about is Pinterest because you are really great at Pinterest. And so will you just share with us some of the things that you do to make your Pinterest look professional and how it kind of helped you build your business. Yeah, so it's really cool because I, I really didn't start using my Pinterest a lot until recently when I started doing the trainings. I was always, it, Facebook was my Which number training? one. Which trainings have you done? Then? I was gonna talk about that, but nothing. <laughs> I'm so excited, I'm like, what? <laughs> Melanie Duncan and Natalie Jill. Just to, if you want to write those down, but I'll probably talk about them again. But I wasn't really big into it because I, I had my Facebook, I had my blog, and I had my Instagram. And I realized that more people were getting on Pinterest. So I'm like, I'm going to do a couple trainings. And it's cool because I really honestly grew my Pinterest just by pinning everything and connecting it with my other social media. So, you know, you want to make it look professional, but if you can pin everything on your Pinterest to your other social medias, that is going to help you so much. And the reason why you want to do this is because when someone is coming to your Pinterest and they're looking at it, because you know everyone searches things, you want them to be able to click on it and it's going to go to your stuff. Because if you're using someone else's stuff, you're going to give away your coaches and you're going to go give away your challengers. You want those people. So make sure that you are using your own content and connecting. So I personally use my blog and my YouTube um, to my Pinterest. And at the very top when you have like your little profile description, I have my blog website. Um, so make sure that you're putting like either an email or your Facebook, that something that you're connecting with you want people to go to. Um, so the YouTube videos is something that I learned from Melanie Duncan. She actually said that the YouTube videos are the least used but most pinned. Oh, interesting. So okay. if you can, if you guys have a YouTube channel, if you don't, start making a YouTube channel because that's when you're helping your coaches and you're also gaining challengers. So if you can do YouTube videos, your short workouts, your short trainings, just some tips, that's really going to help you not only on Pinterest but also gain traction on your YouTube channel. Um, also, you want to make your images really appealing. So these are just a couple images that I made as I was doing the trainings from Melanie Duncan and uh, Natalie Jill, that you want to make your images long rather than wide, okay, because they're just more eye-catching. You want to have a call to action. So you'll notice that I have click this image to learn more, click this image to read more, and just kind of have those colors that is eye-catching for people. And then at the very bottom of the picture or wherever, just have a link to your site. Um, that way people know where to go. And also you want to create boards that are topic specific. So clean eating recipes, um, beach body transformations. By the way, that is how I got a lot of my challengers by them clicking on the transformations on my pictures. Um, fitness motivation, healthy meal plans. You want to make it easy for your people to find what they're looking for. So. If you have someone who's looking for um, a meal plan, you don't want them to have to scroll through all these cleaning recipes before they get to what they're looking for. They're not going to stay with you. So just make sure that you're really focusing and making those topics very specific for them to be 
um, to find it a little bit easier. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, so that's Pinterest. Okay. Sorry, I'm like, this is pretty quick, but is that yeah. okay? No, we're good. Great. That's All right. Fantastic. Cool. And if you have more questions, you can contact me. <laughs> I like it. All right. So, All right. how do you use your Instagram to build your business? Okay. So my Instagram is actually what I've been using pretty much since the start of my business. Melanie taught me, you have to go outside of Facebook. So this is what I went to um, along with my blog. And I really enjoyed Instagram just because it's easy because you can pretty much post what you're posting on Instagram to Facebook. Guys, don't feel like you have to post so many different things because you don't have the, all the same followers on Instagram that you do on Facebook. And if you do, most likely they're not gonna see them both because they're not looking at them both at the same time. Okay, so you have a different following. Don't, be, don't feel like you have to work extra hard to make that extra post. Um, so just a couple ways that I get my followings and um, attraction to my Instagram. There's three different things. So the first one, I have an Iconosquare. I don't know if you guys ever heard of that. It's Iconosquare.com. This is where I go on my computer so I don't have to look at my small phone. All right, so when I'm on there, this allows me to see my followers. Basically, you can do everything on your phone except a lot more, but you cannot post an actual post on Iconosquare. So um, there's a tab at the top that I wanted to show you. It says my followings, or my followers, I'm sorry. And whenever it comes up my followers, everybody that is following you from the most recent is on there. So what I do is I will click through each one that looks appealing to me and I will skim through five seconds, literally. I'll say, okay, does this profile look like it's someone I want on my team or I would follow? I will like four to five pictures and then comment on one. And when I'm doing these comments, I am making it, I'm building a relationship. I'm not saying, great job, or follow me here and send them a link. No. Start the conversation. Your kids are adorable. How old are they? You look like you've been into fitness. How long have you been? Are you on Facebook to talk more? You know, it sounds like we have a lot in common. Those are the kind of things that you want to start that conversation with. Um, and then also, another way I do it is searching hashtags. All right, so look at the hashtags that you're using that are you. So I use Fit Mommy, Fit Nurse, um, Mom of Boys, Mom of Two. Same thing. Go skim through those people that look appealing to you, like four to five things, comment on one, and you want to keep going back to that. I have a binder that I actually use to keep track of everybody I like and comment. I put the date that I did it, and I say what I commented on so I know to go back to that to make sure that they've commented back or if they've seen it, and you can keep that conversation going. <coughs> All right, and then the last thing I do is I will go to a picture, so you'll see my shit happens post, all right? Shit happens. I've had a rough freaking couple weeks. So you go on that post, I have a lot of likes on it. And I will go to every person, this is what I do on my phone now. Don't use the icon of square because it just takes too long. Use your phone for this one. Look at the likes, you'll see there's a list of likes. On the right side, it'll be a solid heart or an empty heart. So if they're following you or not. The ones who are not following me, I will make sure that I am looking at their profile, see if they look appealing to me. Again, like four to five pictures, comment on one. Same process, those are just the three ways that I do it. That's awesome, those are great tips. Thank you. Okay, so to somebody in the audience, what are, if they wanna go back and they wanna get started, what are some tips you can give them to get started right now? Um, so basically, I think it's, the consistency that you can just be sharing your journey. Um, if you can do that and start building those relationships sooner rather than later, it's really gonna help you. And like I said, just keep track of everybody that you're talking to because if you don't keep track, that person's gonna go to somebody else. Awesome, great job. Can we give her a big round of applause?